Hey there, Foxy Gamers, and welcome back to Satisfactory. We just had a power outage here at our factory, so definitely the number one thing we're going to do today is to set up some more biomass burners, as well as automate some of the process of creating fuel for them. You can see we did almost run out of fuel here. Oh, that one completely ran out of fuel. Uh, but I'm not sure we really had, we were like very close to reaching the limit anyway of what our base could handle. I am going to put in some fuel real quick, like just to, uh, let our base continue to make some stuff while we work on setting up how to automate creating biofuel. Let's go ahead and let's see here, solid biofuel. All right, I'll make a few of these and replenish our biomass burners. Okay, that should be enough to keep it going for now, but we definitely want to have this set up and ready to automate before the rest of that biofuel runs out because it really is kind of a pain in the butt to do that all by hand. It takes a lot longer than it used to. So the unfortunate thing about biofuel is we can automate a bit of it to an extent to where we don't have to make anything by hand. But to my knowledge, we can't actually do anything to automate the inserting the biofuel into these biomass burners, which is why it's very important to try and get coal as early as possible so that you can actually automate your base's power. But the setup for our biofuel creation will be a big help for now so that we won't have to run around and create stuff by hand as much. So what we want to do here is go into our production. Actually first what we'll do is we'll make a couple of storage containers here that we can put both leaves and wood into and then those storage containers will feed into the constructors that will then make some biomass for us. So we'll just use this space over here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space right next to the base for us to build some more biomass burners, but this should do right here. There's one and we'll space them out just a little bit because the constructors are a slightly different size than these storage containers. All right, so there's those guys. And then we'll have a separate constructor for each type of biofuel. Now let's see here. Line. Oop. Oh no. Okay. We don't have any reinforced iron plates. I'm going to need a few of those. So I'll go ahead and create those by hand right now. We don't have our assembler set up yet because we're going to need some more power before we do that. So I will just do this painful by hand process for a few iron plates. All right, that actually wasn't so bad compared to doing all the biofuel by hand, but let's see here. Uh, let, uh, okay, assembler. All right, that's the two parts into one. So we want the constructor. And we'll place these like so. The sad thing is <laughs> I just realized we're not going to actually have enough power to um, run these constructors. Can I not line up both of these at the same time? That seems a little obnoxious. Shoot. Well, that'll have to be close enough. Yeah, so we're actually going to have to create some biomass burners in order to power these constructors that will make the biofuel for us. Okay, so we'll make this one our leaf biofuel. That's all we need there. And this one our wood biofuel. I'm actually gonna go ahead and plop down another biomass burner while we're doing this so that those constructors can get a head start onto things. Did I put these too close to where our biomass burners are gonna be? I'm not sure. Let's find out. All right, because I'm like OCD about my base setup, I definitely want to make sure these are all facing the same way. Oh, shoot. I did place them a little too close. So I'm going to put that there. 
and we'll drop in we're just gonna be wasteful and drop in some regular biomass there that's just gonna have to do and because I, <laughs> I really don't feel like making that stuff by hand right now but we'll plop down cannot connect more lines oh geez oh no we got another power line there I was gonna say are we already out of power lines okay so this guy can connect up here and now we'll have a lot of extra power Okay, I'm going to move these over real quick, just so we can line them up a little better. Alright, we have these placed more appropriately here, so we're just going to go ahead and hook up those constructors there. And the storage boxes will not actually need any power, so we can go ahead- Oh, let me run over here and grab all of these leaves and wood that we piled into this box. So much leaves and wood. We can also- Chuck the biomass stuff that we've already created. Oop. Inventory full. Uh, we can also go ahead and chuck that stuff into the biofuel constructors that we're going to make in order to give them a bit of a head start. Alright, so this one will be our leaves here. And this one is our wood. So obviously we're still going to have to come over here and manually drop this stuff off, but it will be a lot better than doing this all by hand. Oh my gosh, how did we run out of power already? Ugh. Okay, I could have sworn... Did this stuff really run through that biofuel this quickly? Holy crap, it did. Alright, that's not cool. I feel like the biomass does a better job than the biofuel. How is that even possible? Biomass burners vehicles can use it for power. Biomass is much more energy efficient than raw biological matter. Yes. Did these... I feel like it says... Yeah, here it says... How much... Oh, let's... Alright, start this back up again. Um, it says... Six seconds. And I'm pretty sure the biofuel is like 20 or something like that, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we're just going to try and do this very, very quickly. I think I'm going to actually want two constructors making... Oh my gosh, can I just please line this up with these constructors and not this biofuel over here, or biomass? Um, I think we're going to want one constructor per type of biofuel... Because uh, normally we could just like combine these two constructors into the same constructor since the output of the biomass from the leaves and the wood are the same. But the issue is I don't think this is going to create our biofuel very quickly. So it, we may actually even need three of these constructors to two of the biomass creators, but we'll see how this goes first. Attach that one there. And we've got another power line over here. Yeah, so let's see here. It is 120 per minute of that. And this is also 120 per minute, but how many does it take to burn? It needs eight biomass. Hmm. And that creates ten... Oh, wait, no, that needs 10 leaves. Shoot, oh my gosh. I need some math pros right now. All right, it does look like maybe two constructors is a little unnecessary for this si uh, solid biofuel because it is dumping stuff out faster than the other constructors are. But, okay, yeah, so you know what? We're going to go ahead and tear this down. And just put in one constructor for now. That is something that has changed since the last time I played. Because I do believe it used to be the other way around. So we'll go ahead and set this up with a combiner. A conveyor merger rather. And a storage box for it to output to. Okay, there we go. That looks like it might actually end up being okay. It's still a little faster than the two of these combined. Oh, I know what it is. It's actually, because they're combining this conveyor belt 
won't keep up with what our other two constructors are producing. So we will want to upgrade our conveyor belts as soon as we research that technology. I don't believe we have that yet. Nope, nope, we do not. That is something we could research, but right now I'm trying to focus on getting our space station ready to go. Although I don't know, I don't know if that's necessary as our next step, but okay. We're gonna check on these guys. See who's in the most desperate need of power. Uh, all right. I really don't want to use all of the biomass on these, so I'm gonna go ahead and swap those out, and then we can just dump this biomass in here. Of course, we have a little too much, but we'll just have to hang on to that for a second. Okay, so the solid biofuel definitely is 15 seconds per each, and the output is roughly the same. This is dropping about 10%, but clearly it's still a better option than the regular biomass. So hopefully we have enough thrown in there for now that it will keep our base afloat for a little bit, but I... <laughs> I'm only going to have enough time to like run away, grab some mats and come back probably before it runs out. But this constructor is doing a pretty good job of pumping those out. All right. So we have over here on the right hand side of the screen, our required ingredients for our space elevator. So let's go and pick up what all we need from our other locations over here. I do believe we're probably going to need to make some wires by hand. Oh, unless, actually, never mind. It looks like I did set this up to make some wires. I remember I was just a little worried about whether or not it would be able to be powered by our current grid setup. Ah, so that is fantastic. We do have a bunch of wires here. It still might not be enough because we only just did that off screen, not too long ago and we can't really steal anything from this guy here so unless we turn that off which let's see how many cables do we have uh i mean we have a, there's a lot of cables in there but i also am gonna want a lot of cables in the long run so i'm gonna leave it going at least for a little bit while longer and maybe at some point we'll set up a separate storage box for the copper wire because clearly the cables are getting outputted a lot faster and they're going to be taking up that inventory space. But that means I'm going to want to grab some of these copper ingots uh, so we can make ourselves the additional copper wire that we need. How about... Oh wait, actually I have enough copper in my inventory that I could turn into copper ingots as well. Alright, so I'll go grab the required iron rods from the iron section and see you back at the base. Oh boy, I can feel the carpal tunnel coming on with all that manual crafting, but we finally have enough mats to place our space elevator. Gee, I don't know. Where are we going to put it? I don't think we have any room, guys. Okay, I think we... Let's see here. Actually, that is kind of a good question. Where are we going to put it? This thing is absolutely enormous. So here, I'll just show you right now. I, I can't believe that we can even just like create this by ourselves. Look at this sucker. It's huge. I can't even find a place for it because it's so big. Floor is too steep. Yeah, so that's because we would need to actually create a platform out of iron for it to uh, go right here, which actually isn't a bad idea. Except... The problem is we don't have all the base creating stuff researched yet. So I'm just going to place it back here. I know this is going to be a terrible location for it because eventually you see all these little input and output boxes it has just like the other constructors. Or actually it just has input, sorry. Um, we will be able to automate the things that go inside this to send off some upgrades. But for now, we're just going to place it there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to move it at some point. Whew, look at that sucker. It takes a long time for it to build, too. Oh, here we go. 
This is pretty cool. It actually feels like it's of an epic scale, which I appreciate. It is a little weird that one person was able to basically 3D print this, but they do a good job with the animations and the feeling of massiveness. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't remember it hooking it on, hooking on it like that. But maybe I just wasn't paying attention to everything before. Okay, so what do we do with the space elevator, you might ask? If we go here, we can see we need to submit 50 smart platings in order to send this off to space, and it will unlock tier 3 and tier 4. Honestly, in hindsight, I maybe built this a little prematurely. I don't know why I did this. I guess because I got all excited and I'm like, Wee! Space elevator! But the sad thing is I just wasted a whole bunch of resources. I guess I could always deconstruct it if I wanted to, but what fun would that be? Alright, well, in that case, I guess since we can't unlock tier 3 just yet. Alright, but we, we, do, we can find out what it takes. Because uh, this has all changed since the last time I played. So we, we can't even make the thing that it requires right now. Let's see what we need to research for that. Or maybe we actually can and I'm just a huge derp and I don't see it in our craft bench. Or quite possibly they may have changed it so that you can't craft that stuff by hand and force you to use your assembly, which, you know, is kind of the point of this game. Let me just plop down an assembler here. Uh-oh. We need four rotors and eight reinforced iron plates. What do we need for a rotor? Okay, we've got enough for that. That's not going to take too terribly long, so I'll just do this by hand. And then we need... Uh-oh. We need six more reinforced iron plate so I am going to need to go pick up some screws or else can I yes I can just make some screws myself here that is nice that we can manually craft stuff when absolutely necessary because it would be annoying to have to run all the way over to our iron spot just to craft a couple things but it definitely punishes you uh, from trying to make too much stuff by hand because it will just take you way too long, which was not actually the case when I first started playing this game. So that is definitely something that changed. Okay, so my assumptions were correct. It looks like the only way we can make smart plating is through these assemblers. And while we can make rotors by hand and possibly modular frames, it, it that's just, it's not, no, just, just no, don't, don't try that. That's, that's masochism right here. And, uh, I, as you all know, I am a masochist, but I am not that much of a masochist. Okay, so, and that's it. Oh, look at that. We've got a bunch of wood in our inventory. So we can run over here and give our friendly constructors all this remaining wood. I think we're probably okay on having to run back to the forest for now, because... We still got quite a bit of wood and leaves left, and our biomass burners are doing a pretty decent job. I did top these off once a moment ago, but we'll just go ahead and do a little bit more in each of these, and that should last us for any sort of excursion we're going to take away. Okay, so I definitely think our next step now is going to be to optimize our... Oh, wait, that's not where I put my iron, is it? Didn't we go over here to this one or something? Oh, my God. I don't know. There's so much iron around us. I can't remember what's what. All right, that's copper because I can see the copper wires from there. I need to start placing beacons or something. I think that's a thing I can do. Ah, yes, okay. So our iron is this away. Anyway, what I'm going to want to do now is optimize our locations to make sure that all of our smelters and constructors are not sitting around idling like they are right now. 
it looks like our miner is actually doing okay. Yes, it does have a little bit of extra um, raw iron in there, but that's okay. The important part is utilizing all this stuff. So, oh my gosh, we have a ton of iron ingots there, which is good. And let's see, so we've got iron bars turning into screws. We're going to need, I think, a constructor with just iron bars. So what we could do here is actually send a splitter out of this box here. Do do do. In case we want to use this iron for other stuff. Oh my gosh, come on now. Oh boy. All right, so you can go, oh no, what? Oh, why is that so awful? This is gonna start getting ugly. I should probably research whatever we need to start actually creating platforms and everything because it's gonna, once we sprawl out, this is become, gonna become very challenging with this land dipping down like this. But for now, we'll just go ahead and put another constructor over here. Uh, we're just gonna rotate it sideways because I literally don't think I can build... Yeah, we can't even build platforms right now, so I don't even have the option of deciding where this thing goes. It, it will only go to its auto place. But we'll have this guy create iron rods and make sure to hook it up to the power. Ugh, this is getting so messy already. I can't wait till we can actually organize this well. We'll put that power line there and hook you up. And then let's see, do we want to put this into the same storage container as these iron rods? We could hypothetically, but once again, it's going to get kind of messy because everything's sort of going every which way. So I'm just going to be incredibly wasteful and put down another storage container here because eventually we're going to tear all this up again anyway once we get our platforms researched. Okay. I'm gonna pick up whatever screws we have here, and if there's a plethora of them, we could also just turn this off temporarily. Oh, hey, buddy. You can just stay over there. There are a lot of screws, but not so much that I'm going to turn it off, so we'll let that run for now. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do, since our miner is working pretty steadily to keep these other ones supplied, is there does seem to be quite a few different iron deposits around here if we use our little scanner. I believe there's one right over there. Yep, indeed, right next to the copper. And then where's the other one? Okay, not too far over yonder as well. Oh, nice, we're right over by that cute little waterfall. So I think we're gonna utilize this one right here just as long as we have enough space to set up some more smelters and constructors. Let's take a look here at what we need for base building. We'll go ahead and select that milestone, and I do believe our, uh, whatever this is called, what, why can't I think of what this is called? Our concrete, concrete, duh. There should be enough concrete made for us to go run back over to our limestone spot and get this going. So we'll definitely be able to submit this milestone very quickly next episode, but then the question is, how many materials we're going to need to make a significant base out of all these foundations. We're going to need lots and lots of iron plates and lots and lots of concrete. So we're definitely going to want to expand to another iron deposit. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. And until next time, stay foxy.